Hi guys, welcome to the Praying Christian Women podcast. Thank you for joining me. And I am Alana. I'm here with Jamie Hampton, my co-host. We have another Coffee Break episode for you, which is where we take some of the questions that you guys send in. So any questions you have about prayer, go ahead and shoot them our way at prayingchristianwomen.com slash questions. And today we're going to be talking about what I feel is one of the most important things to talk about when it comes to prayer, and that is just staying focused, losing your concentration, all of that. So I'm excited to dive into today's question. Before we get started, um, let's just open up with a word of prayer. God, we just thank you for this day and this time to discuss this important question. And we just pray that we would open our minds and our hearts to you and just hear what you have to say and um, just guide Alana and me in our discussion and help us to just um, really be an encouragement, um, both just for ourselves and our own prayer lives and for anyone who's listening. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So our question today is it just me or do others have trouble concentrating during prayer? <laughs> and we just no, laughing. it is not you. Yeah. <laughs> we both laugh like, it is not you. It is not you. It is universal. It is absolutely universal. In my opinion, staying focused in prayer or having a hard time staying focused in prayer is the biggest struggle for Christian women today. So no, it's not you. And with that, we're going to close up our episode. So thanks for your question. (laughs) I'm joking. (laughs) So now that we have answered, I think the deeper question in here is how do I concentrate better during prayer? So let's, now that we have answered the spoken question, let's dive into that. And how can we do a better job being focused in prayer? Yeah. And you know, I think the the biggest word, the overarching word for this whole topic is just to have grace with yourself and, and perseverance and, you know, not, um, not viewing it as like this holy grail of prayer to be focused. Absolutely. Um, Here's how I think some people treat focus in prayer. Mm-hmm. I feel like they say, okay, I'm going to pray for 20 minutes because I don't know why 20 minutes always just seems like people go because maybe half an hour sounds like too much so i'm going to pray for 20 minutes right and they start their praying and they picture god like right above their head with a clipboard like a gym coach marking off every single time they lose their concentration like i seriously feel like every single person who is trying to grow in their prayer life has had that mental image <laughs> in their mind yeah if i'm wrong send us an email and correct me but that that idea that God is there just waiting for us to lose our concentration and to get so frustrated with us, like that is not who God is. And I feel like I love that the very first word you brought up in this conversation, Jamie, is grace. We need to have grace with ourselves because it is really hard to think about anything for a sustained amount of time. And we could go on and on about how the attention span is shortened because of technology and Facebook and blah, blah, blah. But I don't think we need to. I think this has been universal forever anyway. But perhaps is even more of a struggle now because we live in a fast-paced world. And we are not monks and nuns who are used to five hours of silence to start our day. (laughs) Um, So yeah, having grace and realizing God is not there with his little timer. We're like, oh, well, she only made it 35 seconds before she got distracted. Like if if God were doing a timer for me, I probably wouldn't make it to 60 seconds all that often. (laughs) But the point is, once you realize that you've lost your focus, you just bring your focus back and start praying again. That's the key. The key is not to have a 20 minutes of complete uninterrupted time of super intense meditation on God and prayer. The point is to every time you realize that you're distracted to train your mind to get back on track. And then eventually, which is where the perseverance came up, you talked about Jamie, eventually with practice and perseverance, you'll get a little better. You probably aren't going to be perfect and that's okay. (laughs) Yeah. And, you know, that whole idea of training, we we talked about that a lot. Um, just the fact that, and I know we talk about it in our Smash Your Prayer Blocks retreat, um, mm-hmm. which just, you know, the idea of if you were 
doing sit-ups, would you consider yourself a failure if you sat up and then laid back down? Or, <laughs> you know, would you say, oh, I failed. I'm laying back down. Or would you um, look at it as, okay, but then I need to sit up again and lie back down. And so prayer is exercising your spiritual muscles. You know, prayer is a, is a component of exercising your spiritual muscles. So every time you get drawn away by distractions, you draw yourself back again. And I don't remember the quote, but it's one of our favorites. Mm -hmm, it is. I'll try to paraphrase it. It's basically, if you're spending an hour in prayer and you find your mind wandering that entire time, but every time you find your mind wandering, you kind of, I, I don't think he puts it in these words, but the picture I have is like, you pick up your heart yeah. and like place it back in God's hands. Yeah. If, if you're kind of refocusing on him, then you are not wasting your time. Yeah. And so again, the point is not how much can you pray on a single topic or on any topic without any distraction. The point is, are you praying? <laughs> because we're all going to lose our focus. Um, thinking about prayer as exercise, prayer is a marathon, all of these things. I am not going to be able to walk out my front door and run 10 miles because first of all, it's icy. And second of all, because I don't run. <laughs> if I felt like training though, you know, I would start with maybe, I don't know, maybe a quarter mile and, and then some walking. And then maybe I'd do that for a week and then I would try for half a mile it's the same with prayer. I feel like we do ourselves such an incredible disservice when we treat prayer as something that we should innately know how to do well. Oh, I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Or you just assume that other people are better at it. Yes. Isn't that true? I had someone say that. She's like, um, I'm going to I'm going to use euphemisms here just in case people have family listen, but basically she's like, prayer is like being married and everybody thinks that everybody else does it better. Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah. This is whole idea because we do. We think that everybody must be better at it. Every because we don't talk about having a hard time praying. But right. oh my goodness, it is hard to stay focused. And so I have switched. My goal is not to have sustained focused attention in prayer. My goal is to just keep training my brain to refocus when it does wander. And sometimes when your brain wanders that can be an invitation of what God wants you to pray for next. So, you know, I've, I've trying to not even fight the mind wandering all that much, but to just say, Oh, Hmm, I'm thinking about my budget. Maybe that means I need to pray because I'm obviously worried about finances or, Oh, this person popped into my head. Hey God, let's pray about this person. What can I pray for her about or something like that? Well, yeah, and not to be a walking advertisement for our Smash Your Prayer Blocks retreat. But no, this is this is a perfect resource. It perfect. really is. This is a helpful resource. It yes. is. Well, I just keep thinking because one of my very favorite prayer tips, which is in our segment on distractions in prayer in the Smash Your Prayer Blocks retreat, um, is what you've done, Alana, is when you're praying and you just find yourself constantly being distracted by... Um, to-do lists mm -hmm. or other topics, have a piece of paper and write them down. And that has been so like game changing for me to be yeah. able to not be bound by those. The way I, I picture it is I'm not bound to those distractions anymore. Mm -hmm. You release them from, from their hold on you by writing them down. And that way, if it's a person or a situation, maybe you do pray for them. Or if it's a grocery list, um, oh, I forgot I need milk. You write that right. down and then it's there. Like you can And then you don't need to try to keep remembering it. Yeah. And I just, I really love that. Embrace the distractions, put them on paper and move forward. Yeah. And, yeah. and yippee, it's just one more chance to refocus on God. It's a win-win. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then you can pray over the things that you've written down, you know, yeah. even if you have written down your grocery list. Um, yeah. So the Smash Your Prayer Blocks Prayer Retreat is a series of videos and kind of like journaling prompts, Bible study kind of resources. Do you remember the website off the top of your head? Is it? You can go to, blocks? yeah, you can go to prayingchristianwomen.com slash blocks and it'll take yeah. you to the, the page that you need to be on. to look. Yeah. At so short videos, you know, most are in the, I don't know, five to 10 minute range. And 
a huge focus on that is just growing your focus in prayer. Um, just a few of the practical tips that have helped me off the top of my head, in addition to writing down the things you're praying for or getting distracted by. Um, I like to pace when I pray because that something about the moving, I must be some kind of like kinetic learner or something like that. Um, but really it's, it's about finding the things that work well for you. I know Jamie, sometimes you'll, say your prayers out loud and that kind of keeps you from losing your focus. Yeah. But there are just tons of examples like that of things that you can try. Um, because yeah, we, we all struggle staying focused in prayer and that is absolutely okay. <laughs> you know? And so instead of just giving up because you can't pray for one minute without your mind wandering again, you just notice that your mind has wandered and then say, okay, now I'm going to go back to praying for this. And just remember that this is something that takes a lot of practice. Well, that's, did you have any other, any other insights or did you want to? Well, let's see. I definitely would encourage you, um, if you want more of these tips to go to prayingchristianwomen.com slash blocks, because I think really, Jamie, when we talk about prayer, like this is, I think, on the forefront of both of our minds yeah. of just, if I could help women do one thing, it's to, you know, to, to grow their prayer life. Like if you were to ask, what's one thing I can do? Well, it's, mm -hmm. it's to increase your focus, but also to not beat yourself up when your mind does wander to just realize that's, that's going to happen. The goal again is not to have perfect focus and attention. The goal is to just keep persevering through the wandering mind syndrome. And, you know, Jamie, you and I have both been investing in our own personal prayer lives for years now you know, doing these shows and resources and we still, you know, probably aren't all that much better than we were when we started, but you know, that's okay. The goal, like I said, the goal isn't perfect attention span. The goal is to just keep on connecting more and more with the Lord. Yeah, so yes, do not be discouraged. Keep on persevering and show yourself that grace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else you wanted to add? No, that's, that's just about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys haven't heard, we are super excited to announce our Patreon page where for a monthly support amount that you get to choose, you're going to get access to over 80 extra episodes and we're going to continue adding to that database as time goes on. So for example, I know a lot of people, you find a podcast and then you listen to all the episodes and you're like, oh, I want more. So for those of you who are at that point or who just want to help support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash praying Christian women. And again, that's going to get you access to like almost a hundred episodes on topics like this. Plus, like I said, Jamie and I are going to be rolling out more resources for our patron supporters as time goes on. So we would really appreciate that support. It helps with paying for some of the tech side of things, the website stuff that we're doing here, and you're going to get some more resources out of it. And if you have any questions that you would like to submit to us to have on our coffee break episodes, we would love to hear from you. And you can go to prayingchristianwomen.com slash questions and submit your questions to us. And we have a long list of questions right now from listeners, but we're getting to them little by little. And yeah, we would love to hear some of your questions and, and we'll be getting to every single one at some point as soon as we can. <laughs> How's that for vague? <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and close in a word of prayer then. God, we thank you that you are a God of grace and that you are the one who has just created our minds in a fearful and wonderful way, God. And we do recognize that, yes, it is frustrating sometimes when our minds wander. Um, but I just pray that you would help each of us to grow in our perseverance, to grow in our grace, and to find ways to be a little more focused in prayer. I pray that you would help Jamie and me to continue to make resources that are going to help women in that area. We pray for anybody who is taking the Smash Your Prayer Blocks course and online prayer retreat, just that that would be so encouraging and inspiring to them. I pray that these podcast episodes would be encouraging and inspiring to listeners as well. And we just thank you so much for your love for us. We thank you for the opportunity to do this show. We pray for your continued provision for everything that we need to keep this up on our end. And we just thank you for, for being the God who sustains us. Amen.